Moving on to former Disney star Selena Gomez. She made a bold claim at the TCA Summer 2021 tour over the weekend that she signed her life away to the company at a very young age. Yeah, I'm Benny. The 29-year-old actress made the claim while speaking with reporters about returning to television as one of the leads of Hulu's Only Murders in the Building series, alongside two comedic greats, Steve Martin and Martin Short. When she was asked about the experience filming her upcoming murder mystery show and how it compares to her past work, she told reporters, quote, I signed my life away to Disney at a very young age, and I didn't know what I was doing. What I say is the level of sophistication of the material is the first reason why I wanted to do this. Adding that she didn't know what she was doing when she was a kid, and that she was just running around on set. So Denny, what do you think about that comment? How young is too young for these child stars? Well, we've heard so many kind of tales of people's Disney days. There's been yeah. so many stars. I mean, countless. We're talking all the way back from like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and Justin Timberlake on the Mickey Mouse Club to Selena Gomez, Miley Cyrus. You know, there's so many young stars to come out of Disney. And for some, it's great training ground. Right. I think about Zendaya and the way that yes. she catapulted her career from Disney into whatever she wants to do. And then, of course, we've heard so many pitfalls, too, for so many stars. Mm -hmm. Or we're, we've also, they've been at the helm of media scrutiny and fan scrutiny when they decide to change their image. To like grow up. When they to decide to naturally progress. And so I feel like, you know, it's 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 in a lot of ways a uh, social experiment, watching people start at such a young age, even if it's not Disney, you know? But I think... Um, I think now there is a low tolerance for, you know, people being treated uh, badly in the workplace, especially for young people, and there's more protections around them. Uh, but I also feel like as a parent, I don't know if I would let my kid kind of like step into Hollywood and all this spotlight so young. That's an interesting yeah, take. Because I, I know there are a lot of parents out there, you know, that love, their, adore their kids yes. and have let them step out into the spotlight. I think it really depends on the foundation. You know, mm, as long as raised. you, how you're raised and as long as you have a family to go home to that reminds you of who you are outside yes. of the spotlight and keeps you humble on that, on that part. Yeah. I think sometimes that helps. Foundation is everything. That's what I'm learning. Personally. Absolutely. Uh, but a lot of fans, of course, are excited for Selena to honestly be back on our TV screens again. This is her first TV series since Wizards of Waverly Place ended in 2012. And she'll be playing a true crime fanatic who gets caught up in an unsolved death in her West Side apartment building in New York City, which is a major departure from her Disney Channel sitcom. Selena later told reporters, quote, it's really nice to be back on TV and it's nice to be cast as my actual age, which never happens.